We continue this morning with uh, Barbara S. Wynn, who, of course, has, whose name has been so closely associated with tennis in this state, really, and really in the country. And we, we were in your office, Barbara Wynn, now we're in the Welcome Center. Right. And I wanted to talk just a little bit about Arthur Ashe. Um, and, of course, there's a picture of you with him up there. You met him when? Barbara. Um, about 1969. And what was the circumstance? Uh, we, were, we were all getting together to talk about having public tennis uh, for inner city kids. Yeah. And so uh, we met in Chicago. Prior to that I had met him, you know, casually. Mm -hmm. But when I became his friend was when we shared our dreams about uh, having kids of all abilities and all, uh, abil yeah. uh, all socioeconomic standards yeah. well, get to play he, together. He changed, he changed so much about tennis, didn't he? He did. He really did. Yeah. Um, you also knew Billie Jean. Did very well. She was, on, I've interviewed her a couple of times. She is like the awesomest person I ever met. Isn't she yeah. cool? She yeah. has done a lot for so many. Yeah. Empowering women particularly. That's really cool. Now, I see behind you Bobby Riggs. Yes. Now, you, you get a big smile on your face. Did you love that whole thing with Bobby Riggs and Billie Jean? I loved the whole thing, and yeah. I love that he came here twice and helped raise money for the tennis center. Yeah. So he, when we were trying to build a tennis house, little by little, you know, we did the same thing. And here we have, I think it's the nicest tennis house any place in the world. It serves us perfectly. Now it says Bobby Riggs Challenge Ladder, and yeah. what is the Bobby Ring Riggs Challenge Ladder? Well, all the boys and girls who play tournament tennis, or now we call it high performance, mm -hmm. uh, they get a card, and they um, try to keep track of their the matches that they play. So that here's here's Will Gerard. He is actually now teaching for us, and it just gives a list of all the people he played in the scores. Look, he's even on both sides. Wait, and wait a second, you just pulled that at random and you knew who it was? Yeah, You I can't did. do that. That's like having 98 grandchildren. Well, wait a second. Hold on a second. I'm going to pull one out. You're not going to tell me you know who that is. Okay, that is Patrick Flatchoff. Yeah. Of course I know Patrick. He's uh, now a freshman at Indiana University. He won the state championship two times for Carmel. How and awesome. one of the beautiful things is that whether you go to Carmel, Burbuff, or, or Lutheran High School, or North Central, Park Tudor, they all love to come here and play, and by the end of the summer, they forget totally where they go to high school. They become tennis friends instead of high school friends. We are gonna do something now that's really cool. We are gonna go out in the tennis center here, and I know you're building an indoor thing, but you've got a young man out here who you think could be the next great star, and we're going to inter talk to him, we're going to talk to his coach, and we're going to watch this nine-year-old play, and you will not believe this, so you cannot miss the next segment. Yeah. We'll be back. I call him the little fed. The little fed, there <laughs> yeah. you go.